G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. This video is a special request from one of my patrons, Hugh, who wanted to know how to work out engine capacity. So, uh, we'll launch straight into it. And a big shout out to all my patrons. If you want to support the Tech Math Channel, you'll see that there's a link below the uh, video uh, in the description. And you can support the Tech Math Channel and your help's really appreciated. So anyway, let's look at how we work out engine capacity. And to start off, engine capacity is a volume measurement. You might have heard our engine sizes talked about in terms of, say, a 1.4 litre engine or maybe a 250cc engine. Or even from the United States, you might have even heard of an engine talked about in terms of cubic inches. Uh, pretty much these are all volume measurements. Uh, litres, well, there's a thousand cubic centimetres in one litre. Okay. Basically, a thousand cubic centimeters, uh, 250 cc's, 250 cubic centimeters. So it's a volume measurement. All right. Now, the other thing that's important to understand is how the basics of an engine work. And I've got a diagram up right now that looks at this. We've got a six cylinder engine. And what's happening in this engine is we have pretty much some fuel being fired inside some uh, cylinders. And as it's being burnt, what it's causing is some pistons to go up and down. We have the six cylinder engine here and these pistons are going up and down. When we're talking about engine capacity or engine displacement, we're talking the total amount that these pistons are moved, okay, the volume pretty much that's uh, encapsulated when they move for all these six cylinders over one cycle of the engine. Sound pretty nasty? It's not too bad. I'll tell you what, I'll draw up a cylinder and you'll see how this works. Now we have the uh, diameter of the cylinder, which is said to be its bore, okay? The other measurement that we need to know is how much the piston moves up and down within the cylinder, okay? This measurement here. This is said to be its stroke. I'll just write that in. So how do we work out the engine capacity, say, for our six-cylinder engine that we had based on this particular idea here? Well, it's pretty simple. Because we're dealing with cylinders, well, the volume of a cylinder is as follows. It's pi r squared times the height, okay? And that's the volume of any cylinder is pi r squared times the height. Uh, and then what you do is you multiply it by the number of cylinders. So in this case, what do we have? Well, we have pi, which is 3.14. The radius, which is this halfway measurement here. So the halfway measurement of our particular circle here is half of what the bore is, okay? So it's the bore divided by two. And what we do that is we would square that. So I'm going to put that in brackets and we would square it. Okay. And basically it's the halfway measurement of the bore squared. And that is multiplied by the height, which for our cylinder here is the stroke. Okay. So times the stroke. And when we're talking about engines, we're also talking about, we have to consider the total number of cylinders. So say for our six cylinder engine, we would times it by the number of cylinders. Okay. So I've run out of space here, but I'm going to just say times the cylinders, okay? Uh, and it's a bit messy, but you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So this is our engine displacement. And that's the way we work it out. It's pretty simple, right? So what about I go through a couple of examples of this? Okay, so for the first example I'm gonna have a look at when I'm talking about engine capacity, I'm gonna look at a five litre Ford Mustang, okay? So straight away, we already know the engine capacity should be around about five litres. In fact, I'll put that in a little, uh, I'll just write that over here. It should be about five litres, okay? This is a five litre Ford Mustang, as I said. Now, a five litre Ford Mustang is a V8 engine. What does that mean? Well, it means it has eight cylinders. So it has eight of these guys, eight of these pistons and eight of these cylinders. So straight away, we're going to be multiplying our uh, volumes that we work out for each cylinder by eight to get the total engine capacity, okay? So the other thing we need to know is the bore here as well as the stroke. So the bore, I looked it up, is 92.2 millimeters. The stroke is 92.7 millimeters. Now, before I start, I just am going to convert these across because we don't usually talk about engine capacity. In, we talk about either in terms of litres or cubic centimetres. And I'm going to start out with cubic centimetres and then I'm going to change it across to litres. But cubic centimetres, we're going to have to have our measurements here in centimetres. So there's 10 millimetres equals one centimetre. And so I am going to divide each of these by 10 to change them across to 
centimetres. Okay, so the, through the magic of computers, I've straight away, I've just changed these across in two centimetres. So let's just start substituting in values into our formula here. And we can work out that this engine, engine capacity should be correct. So the engine capacity is equal to pi, which I'm going to keep as pi, but it's 3.1415, da, 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 times the bore. Now the bore is this one here. So 9.22 divided by 2. And that is going to be squared. That's going to be multiplied by the stroke times 9.27. And that is in turn going to be multiplied by the number of cylinders, which is, this is a V8, so we're talking eight cylinders. All right, so pretty all right so far. Uh, what would we end up if we do this? So if you were to go, okay, let's keep pi as it is, okay, uh, 9.22 divided by 2. So 9.22 divided by 2 is 4.61, and we would square that uh, times 9.27 multiplied by 8. So I'm sure you could go through and you could work all this out. Uh, what you would end up getting is you would get pretty much per cylinder, this times this, times this, 619 cubic centimetres. And that would be times eight because we're talking eight cylinders. If you do this, in turn, what you're going to get is you are going to get 4,952 cubic centimetres. Okay, so what you might remember with this is that what we had before was 1,000 cubic centimetres equals one litre. Okay, so for each thousand we have a litre, you're going to see that this is equal to 4.952 litres. So this is pretty right, we have a five litre engine here. All right, so no problem, yeah? What about we go through one more example? Okay, for the second example I'm going to go, look, I'm going to go my first car, which was a HQ, okay? Um, I had a HQ and it was a six cylinder, okay? So we're going to have... Uh, now, for you guys who don't know what I'm talking about from overseas in Australia, look up a HQ. They were a magnificent car, right? Now, these guys had a bore and a stroke uh, as follows. They had a bore of 92.1, which I'm going to call 9.21 centimetres. Just change it straight away over. And we also had a stroke of 82.6, which I'm going to change over to 8.26 uh, centimetres straight away. Good idea to do that straight away. So what we're going to do, we're going to convert. So what are we going to do? We're just going to substitute into our formula, okay? So our engine capacity was equal to pi times the bore, which is 9.21 over 2, yeah, because we're working at half uh, this for the radius, and we're going to square that. And this is multiplied by the stroke times 8.26. And this was a six-cylinder engine, so multiplied by six. All right, so uh, what would we end up with if we did this? We'd end up with pi, and this would be multiplied by half of 9.21, which is 4.6 squared uh, times 8.26. And that would tell us each cylinder, and then we'd multiply it by six to get the total engine displacement or the total engine capacity. So if you were to do all this and you were to work all this out okay, what you would end up getting is you would end up getting an answer of 3,301 cc, which is equal to, because each uh, cubic centimetre is equal to a you know, one litre, uh, sorry, each cubic centimetre, a thousand cubic centimetres is equal to one litre, we would end up with a 3.3 liter engine and that's exactly what i remember my car had so there you go that's how you work out engine capacity uh it's not too bad when you, you get into it okay uh it's just a matter of really just treating it like basic cylinders okay anyway thank you once again if you like this video please do hit the like button there and please subscribe and once again uh, a big shout out to my patrons, Hugh. Uh, love your question, mate. And, and to all my patrons, I really, really appreciate your support. And I also want to become a patron of the Tech Math channel. Little link down below there. Uh, and another big shout out that I haven't done yet. A uh, young guy called uh, Ben, who I was talking to the other day, I've been featuring his uh, math channel. I'm going to put links up at the moment. Just a new math math YouTuber coming out there. I'm going to, I'm going to mention him a fair bit, I reckon. Just try to uh, boost up his channel a little bit. Um... Anyway, big shout out to you as well, mate, okay? And I hope it all goes well. We'll see you later. See you next time. Bye.